Hello, CMS students. It's Ms. Carter from the library at Irwin Academic Center in Charlotte. Today, we are going to log in to your One Access account with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Public Library. You may not realize it, but every CMS student has an account with the public library that you can access by using your student number. Yes, even you. Using this account, you can check out eBooks and e-audiobooks, you can watch streaming video, you can access research databases, and even find a free tutor to provide study and homework help and reserve books and other materials to be picked up by you at your local library branch. If you are at school, go to the student portal and click on One Access, or you can go up to the CMS bookmarks and click on the One Access. If you are at home, just go to the CMS homepage to get to the student portal, or you can search Charlotte Public Library. You will end up on this page. We're gonna go down just a little bit and click on elementary school. So here are some of the resources that you can get into. We've got a great biography database, culturegrams, which is all about people and lifestyle and society. We've got Pebble Go, which is science for our younger students. And we've got life science, earth and space science and physical science for our older elementary. Scholastic Go, here's the link to tutor.com and the World Book Encyclopedia. These are great sites to use for research folks. So, to get started, we're going to click Account. The icon looks like a little head. When you get to this page, you have to enter your account number and your personal identification number. So your account number is your student number. It's the same one you always use to log in at school. The personal identification number is your birthday, but only the month and the day, no year. It has to be four digits. So if your birthday is March 7th, for example, your password would be 0309. No slashes, no dashes, no dots, just the four digits. If your birthday is November 15th, your password would be 1115. If you have any questions, raise a hand and your teacher will give you some help. Once you click on the button that says log in, it will take you to this page. Now you'll notice this doesn't take you directly to your account. We've got to go and set up your account. So we're gonna click continue to account setup. If you have logged into this account before, it will say welcome back. If this is your first time on the account, we have to set some things up. Those of you who are already set up, please be patient for a minute and let your classmates go through the next few steps. So the first page has your information in it. You do not need to add your email address or anything like that. Just click continue. The next page asks you to create a username. So choose a color from the drop down menu find one that you really like and pick an animal and there are a lot of them to choose from. So I think we're going to do owl, maroon owl. Then you're going to click I accept, go down a little bit, complete account setup, and then continue to my account. And here you are on your account page. 